Hello, Kipsters. Happy Tuesday. I hope you guys had an awesome three-day weekend. Today, we are going to be learning a new song for our African-American spiritual segment of music. Today, we're going to be visiting a familiar tune for some of us. I know last year I worked with this song for those of us who had music, I believe, in second semester. So if you had me in first semester last year when it was my first year at KIPP, um, you did not perform this song. So I would say maybe maybe 20 percent, 25 percent of us know this song. So for those of you that do, hope you guys enjoy revisiting this song and kind of refreshing this song in your memory. But for those of us who don't, this song is a definitely more more one of the challenging ones we will do for this segment. So we're going to spend a little time on it, uh, possibly the entire week. We shall see. But for now, we're just going to get right into it. As always, we're going to do our warm up. <clears throat> Forgive me if the piano makes a weird sound as always. We're going to start with our warm up today and then get into this song. Good, my voice is a little tired this morning. Hopefully it'll wake up by the end of this warm up. <clears throat> Mama made me mash my M&M's to ready go. Mama made me mash my M&M's. 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 Keep going. Mama made me mash my M&M's. Last one. Mama made me mash my M&M's. Good. Z, 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 are singing vowels. Very much so like you're in the opera, okay? Just to get the correct vowel shapes here, or very close to correct. Z, 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 to ready, go. Z, 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 side as well. It really helps. Hey y'all. Uh. Hey y'all. Uh. Good. 
hopefully you guys did well with that. If you need to warm up again, if you know your voice needs to be warmed up again, you can always rewind the video and start at the warm up segment. Okay, so today, as I was saying, we're getting into the song Wade in the Water. As you can see here, the music is on the screen. Last week, we kind of learned how to read music. So I'm just going to go through that right before we sing it. But I wanted to talk about the meaning of this song, the meaning behind this song. As I mentioned last week, when we started the song, sometimes I feel like a motherless child. I was talking about how some of these songs had, you know, a separate meaning. Some of these songs had code words in them that kind of helped people along their way from slavery or escaping slavery or just kind of even dealing with slavery together. Um, when people would sing these songs, they would, you know, feel a sort of comfort, feel feel at home with each other. And uh, that that is how they came about. They came to grow as a community with music and through these types of songs. This song in particular <clears throat> was was very popular, I would say. This is one of the most popular, I would say, African-American spirituals that we we have and that is easily recognizable. Um, and this song has a, has a coded message as well, one to help those who were running to the North from slavery to be aware that their chasers or their trackers were tracking them with dogs, right? So um, <clears throat> when these slaves would escape their plantation, they would go up North and of course, you know, the slave owners, they would know that. So they would probably send their, you know, their relatives or their people after them. And, you know, with dogs, because it's easier to smell humans, especially sweaty humans who have been running all day um, with dogs. It's easier for that. So what this song would do, Harriet Tubman specifically used this song as well. <clears throat> it would tell them to wade in the water, especially at a certain time of night, wade in the water, because in the water, you couldn't be tracked. You couldn't be smelled. You couldn't be seen in the water. Your tracks would kind of go out of your tracks would just all, all of a sudden disappear. And, you know, you can imagine that these people probably assumed that they were in water. So it maybe always didn't work. But um, towards the beginning, especially in the beginning of their conquest towards the north, this probably was a very important song to help many people get to the north safely and without interruption from, you know, those who were chasing them. Um, so this song has a very rich heritage in the African-American culture and, and our freedom. And while we're singing this, as I mentioned last week as well with the emotions, try to emulate what, what you're telling these people to do. You're bringing them to freedom. You're bringing them to peace up north, um, what they assumed was peace up north at the time. So when you do sing this, imagine you're telling your best friend, wait in the water, wait in the water. All right. Once it's safe, then you can come out. God's going to trouble the water. God's going to make trouble for those who are chasing you in the water. All right. Their, their journey is going well, chasing you at first. Then you get in the water. Now you're safe. Think of this while you're singing this song. All right. The beginning of the song sounds like this. We're going to get right into it. Listen, listen. Listen, listen. Mm, right. Listen. Right when we start. My big thing wants to start pressing buttons. All right. directly as I can, all right? Wade in the water, wade in the water, children. And remember how last week we said, sometimes I feel like a motherless child. We're gonna try to do the same thing here. Wade in the water, children, wade. Try to get that D out of there, all right? Children, wade in the water. Gods are gonna trouble the water. I'm gonna sing it one time with the piano. Here I go. <clears throat> Time. 
Let's just do wade in the water, wade in the water, children. Just that first line. I'll do it one more time and then you can do it after me. Here I go. Sorry, I keep going on because it, it, it makes sense to me to go on. We'll just do the whole first two lines. Sorry about that. Wait in the water, first two lines. Try it. One, two, one, two. Ready, go. Wait in the water. Wait in the water, children. Wait in the water. Gods are going to trouble. there we have to get to that's that's probably the hardest part of the song to make sound good but it is the most fun part to me all right it's almost like wait in the water and then harriet tubman or whoever is saying it to them singing it to them she's, she's like wait in the water children she's like do it now do it now because someone's chasing you all right think about it do it again <clears throat> first two lines there move this down a little bit and remember so when we do music we read this line, wait in the water, wait in the water, children. And then we go all the way down. We skip an entire staff and we go down, wait in the water. God's going to trouble the water. And as you can see here, these measures are numbered. So pretend this is measure one, the beginning of the song. One, two, these lines right here, these small little lines that you can see, or these, these vertical lines right here that split these bars. These are measures. All right, so we have measure one right here, and then, a, and then a vertical line happens, measure two. A vertical line happens, measure three. A vertical line happens, measure four. And then we get to measure five, as you can see. The five right here is for measure, all right? I'm gonna keep this zoomed in so we can see a little better. Try it again. One more time, and then we'll move on. some words here all right and we have four different verses we talked about verses and sometimes i feel like a motherless child and we also talked about it in kumbaya all right so if you can pretend here there's a one right here there's a two right here to this word there's a three right here next to look and there's a four right here if you don't believe i've been redeemed all right so that's how many verses we have for this song today we're only going to learn verse one just so we can make sure we we spread this out even though we have enough time to learn the song but we're going to look at verse one See that host all dressed in white. All right, that's what that part goes like. I'm going to do it one more time. I'll sing it and play it at the same time. See that host all dressed in white. Try that with me just that much. One, two, ready, go. See that host all dressed in white. See that host all dressed in white. I wonder what that means. Let's think about that. <clears throat> See that host all dressed in white. What does that mean to you? What does it mean to, um, to these people who are singing it? I would say, See that host all dressed in right, white. Um, it could be an angel. See that host all dressed in white. God's going to trouble. The leader looks like the Israelite. The Israelite, I would assume here, is, is Jesus. Um, but, you know, as I said, this is all up to speculation. This song was made so very long ago, so we don't know exactly who the leader, who the host all dressed in white was or the band all dressed in red. OK, um, but we can make assumptions and think about it. But see that host all dressed in white. Right now, we're going to pretend that this is an angel. All right. See that host all dressed in white. The angel was leading you to the water. All right. The angel was protecting you. See that host all dressed in white. Stay, stay encouraged. OK, you're, you're, you're there. You're making your way there. All right. And, and I think that's that's a very fair way to to make that make sense. But again, you can come up with your own assumption about what that is. 
Um, and, you know, maybe I could even look into the words a little more and kind of explain it to you. But for now, let's just say that see that host all dressed in white stands for an angel, someone there to protect them in the water. All right. Let's sing it one more time. One, two, ready, go. See that host all dressed in white. God's going to trouble the water. And the next part goes like this. The lead, the leader looks like the Israelites. One more time, it sounds like this. The leader looks like the Israelites. Try that one, two, the leader, go. The leader looks like the Israelite. And then we finish with a chorus. God's going to trouble the water. All right. Both parts together sound like this. This is, of course, the hardest part of the song because the rest of it's pretty repetitive, but it's not too challenging for us. It's just a lot of words to remember. See that host all dressed in white, a little bit slower. One, two, ready, go. See that host all dressed in white. God's going to trouble the water. The leader looks like the Israelite. God's going to trouble the water. And then we jump back to Let's go back to the beginning, try to see if we can sing this song from beginning to end. We got a couple more minutes here. Let me just check how many minutes we have. Click this. Yeah, a couple more minutes here. So we're going to do this song a couple times. All right. I know this song is much, much more challenging than Kumbaya, which we worked on last week, but I think you guys will be able to handle it. And we'll, like I said, we're probably working on this song all week, so we'll have plenty of time to get that practice in. All right. I'm going to go one time the entire song and you can sing along with me or you can just listen, but I want you to see how it goes and then we will move on together. to the beginning, wade in the water. All right, and excuse me if I mess up a little bit on the piano. Um, I know I have to scroll as well as, as uh, you know, play piano at the same time. So I'll try my best. If I don't, then the words will be too small, um, but we'll see. All right, from the beginning, join with me this time. This is gonna be the last time we do this song, all right? And then we'll work on this song again tomorrow and also Thursday. <laughs>
was to wade in the water. Wade, wade in the water. Wade, wade in the water, children. Wade in the water. God's going to trouble the water. And then we would move on to see that band all dressed in red. Do it again. Move on to look over yonder. What do I see? Do it the final time if you don't believe I've been redeemed. Of course, we're not going to get there today, but thank you so much for in, uh, joining me on this lesson. I hope you guys are here watching today. If you have not caught up on last week's lessons, please feel free to do so. Of course, this is a brand new song, so you're watching the first part of this video, but we do have two other songs we worked on. So if you didn't have a chance to get to those, make sure you do. As always, Mr. Isaac has three things for you. You are kind, you are smart, you are important. I look forward, of course, to the day I see you guys in person again and we can make music together again. Until then, have an awesome day and I will see you guys tomorrow.